since we've moved from the city out into the country in the middle of nowhere we've got no neighbors of any kind no dogs barking no airplanes no cars trucks people nothing no noise but except for the wind and after coming from the city that's a little unsettling so we've decided to bring in some white noise so i'm going to set about making a noise maker to introduce some noise to the area So here's the completed noise maker on its trailer, which is fairly loud. You can hear that. So the parts were the bench grinder, some pulleys, pillow blocks. The issue is this grinder spins at 3450 rpm but i want my noise maker to spin at about 40 rpm so i have to go from this pulley to a bigger one which slows it down and then i go from on the same shaft that the big pulley's on to a smaller pulley and then it goes to a rather large pulley which is the bicycle rim itself the pulley rides right where the tube would be where the bicycle tire would be so i go from two inches to 14 inches to two inches to 24 inches taking 3450 rpm and hopefully reducing it to about 40 rpm but it balances nice, it sits on this trailer so I can move it around and make noise wherever I need to on the property. One of the negatives of having a mobile noise maker is that if you hope to plug it in and run it electrically you have to be near a dwelling and an outlet. As you can see I'm in the middle of the woods I don't have that luxury, but I do live in a part of the state that has current bushes. And I'm able to get my energy from that. You just have to take any two-prong outlet so here is the outlet from my noise maker I can bring one into here another into here and as you can see from the current bush I am now wired enough to make it run but you have to have a current bush which is um, voltageous amperous if you look it up that's what's required Then, once I'm hooked to the current bush, I simply lift the motor, it will start, 
I've got my tensioning device in the way of a bungee cord. making it spin as fast as I care to have it spin, making noise. Now let's say you live in a part of the country that doesn't have current bushes to draw your energy from. What you could do is get a car battery and an inverter, in this case a 750 watt inverter, and you could run it off that in the off chance you don't have current bushes. Now, another advantage to having a noisemaker is that you can go into the woods and scoop up hundreds of years of leaf matter and let the screen sort it out, giving you really nice compost for your garden. And there's about eight inches of it here that I can collect to fill the trailer with and take back to the garden. Everything that's not desirable, that doesn't fall through the screen, simply falls out the other side. Here's what I get for my efforts. Some really nice black organic leaf compost that's been collecting here for hundreds or thousands of years that I get to add to my garden without going out and buying soil. Here it is with the quarter inch screen. A much finer screen, but it fits right inside the tube so I can screen it coarse initially and screen it finer. And then this tube simply just slides in and out.